This week on The Muse, history is made as the Coyotes of Orange Vista High School win their first team CIF title in school history. We've got the details on this milestone achievement and look ahead to this weekend's big playoff game. Plus, Paris says goodbye to Captain Matthew Sims of the Paris Sheriff's Station and looks back on some outstanding accomplishments in the department. And Christmas is here, and that means a whole lot of holiday cheer. It's all ahead on the Weekly Muse, and it starts right now. Hello, City of Paris. I'm Stephen Hale from the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, and welcome to the Muse. Congratulations are in order for Orange Vista High School. This past Saturday, Orange Vista varsity boys football team defeated Newberry Park 55 to 34 and won their first team CIF title in school history. Senior running back Sayer Gaines scored four touchdowns and rushed for a total of 288 yards in the win against Newberry Park, who was 10 and four throughout the season. Orange Vista accomplished a record of 11-3 throughout the season with a home record of 5-1 and, and an away record of 6-2. With this victory, Orange Vista High School established a 10-game winning streak, which they'll take into the Southern California Regional Championship. Orange Vista High School will play on Friday night at 7 p.m. at California High School in Whittier, California against Lucerna High School. If Orange Vista wins, the Coyotes would play the Northern California Regional Champion for the state championship. This is a historic accomplishment, and on behalf of all of us here in Paris, we wish Orange Vista High School's football team the best of luck, and remember, we're all rooting for you. And the holidays are in full swing here in Paris, and we are preparing for an upcoming Christmas parade. For more on this community staple and milestone event, here's Serena Marie. Let us get into the holiday spirit. The time is almost here for a Grinch Who Stole Christmas Parade. On December 9, 2023, the City of Paris will hold the annual Christmas Parade. The Paris community and surrounding city schools, cheerleaders, community partners, and so many more will come together to enjoy the Christmas holiday spirit. For PTV, I'm Serena Marie. Thanks, Serena. Captain Matthew Sims has served our community as captain of the Paris Sheriff's Station since December 19th, 2019, and he will be moving on to a new assignment after the new year. Over the past 25 years, Sims has served four different times in Paris for a total of 11 years, six as a deputy and four as a captain, after previously working in the Harupa Valley area of Riverside County. Captain Sims has overseen the safety and security of the 80,000 plus residents of Paris, as well as more than 130,000 residents across 14 other communities of the Inland Empire. He oversees more than 150 deputies, including 75 who are permanently assigned to the Paris community. During his time as captain of the Paris Sheriff Station, Captain Sims oversaw the launch of the Shot Spotter program, the implementation and development of the city's homeless outreach team, or HOT team, and most recently helped launch the station's new drone program. He is now heading on to the Major Crimes Bureau, which is comprised of the Central Homicide Unit, Force Investigations Detail, Computer and Technology Crime High Tech Response Team, Crime Analysis Unit, and the Forensic Unit. We are forever grateful for the efforts and commitment to duty and the professionalism shown by Captain Matthew Sims, and we wish him nothing but success in the days ahead. And now for a look at your five-day forecast, here's Serena Marie with the weather. Thanks, Stephen. The cool weather is here, and that means cold and overcast mornings throughout the week here in Paris, with lows dropping down to the high 30s at night. The wind will blow mostly out of the north, we can expect a slight chance of rain showers this week, so make sure you bring your jacket and umbrella with you if you're going to attend the Christmas tree lighting tomorrow evening. Stay safe, Paris. Back to you, Stephen. Thanks, Serena. I'm excited about the cool weather that is finally here. All right, wrapping up today, a couple items before we go. The Foss Field tennis courts are just about done. and We are looking forward to opening these courts up to the public on December 14th. Final steps of construction are taking place and we can't wait to get you back out on the court. So be on the lookout for the official reopening on December 14th and come and get your swing on. And it is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's that time of year again, and we're gonna be lighting up our city with our annual tree lighting ceremony. 
The community will enjoy local performances this Friday uh, with pictures with Santa, pastries, and we can't forget about that hot cocoa. Friday, December 1st from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. right here on the main City Hall campus. And the very next day, the good times just keep on rolling as we continue festivities enjoying horse and carriage rides, train rides, kids' corners, and did I mention it's gonna be a snow day in our winter wonderland here at Paris. That's on December 2nd at 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. on the City Hall lawn. You are not gonna wanna miss all the action for this Christmas. And lastly, what is Christmas without Santa? Well, Breakfast with Santa will be on Saturday, December 16th at the Bob Glass Gym. We're offering two seatings, the first at 9 a.m. and the second at 1045. Bring your family and friends and come meet Santa and his elves. The cost is $9.50 for those ages five and up and children under four are free. You must register in advance and you can get your picture taken on location and get a festive frame for the cost of only $3. Sign up, sign up now because space is limited. For more information, you can call 951-943-6603. And that'll do it for your weekly muse. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at City of Paris, and subscribe to the Paris TV YouTube channel for around the clock continued coverage wherever you are from your tablet or smartphone device. From the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, I'm Stephen Hale, and that's the muse.